good. I'm keeping that in there. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, YouTubers. It is I, your host, Brooding Gamer, here for a uh, soon to be very interrupted video. But yeah. <laughs> well, I wanted to, uh, if you guys can't tell by the title of this video, it is called a, uh, you know, well, you guys can read. This is a message to Evolution Square. Gaming Beaver and Bess and Slot. Reason I'm doing this is uh, we've hit almost a year. Actually, we technically have hit past a year since we've uh, started uploading again. But it has been, I consider, like almost the year anniversary since this channel really grew up. Um, for any of you who, if any of you, have followed me since I was uh, all the way back when I was Gator Bro, um, all those years ago, and then first became Brooding Gamer, probably around the very beginning of Jurassic World Evolution, and it was a single video that I had done for Jurassic World Evolution that really blew up and took my channel to start something big and that was uh I'm trying to remember like jurassic world fallen kingdom dlc and jurassic world evolution and that gained a little over twenty six thousand views and in doing so gained me pretty much all the way up to my 500 or not my 500 but my 1000 subscriber count along with a few other Jurassic World Evolution videos that I had made discussing, you know, like, what dinosaurs we needed to see and all that. And it was honestly my want to create a YouTube channel based on Best in Slot and Gaming Beaver. Um, I had done a, a, a video explaining my love for the channel and why I wanted to become a YouTuber uh, a long time ago. And I actually did end up getting a, a response from the Gaming Beaver. And this video is not trying to get the attention of those three. Um, as weird as it sounds with me, you know, titling a video, a message to those three people, but more of a, you know, like, those two channels alone pushed me to want to do something with my love of dinosaurs, my love of animals, all that, and uh, more, you know, alongside that, my love for content creating. I'm, I'm a dog person, just so you guys know. I'm not a big cat person, as I have two of these little monsters running around behind me. So, uh, I, you know, it was a big deal for me to be able to come out and talk about my life, talk about, you know, the loss of my brother, talk about why I became who I became, what started Brooding Gamer, why was, why, who, why am I who I am, pretty much. And uh, it was, it meant a lot to see the message from Gaming Beaver on my channel, you know, saying thank you for the kind words and keep up the good work and that meant a lot to me that was a big deal for a, a small channel uh at the time such as myself to hit a, a, a milestone it wasn't the subscriber count it was the fact that a one of my idols for youtube uh messaged me and congratulated me on on my hard work and that was a big deal for me um Years down the road, you know, here we are, and I come across another channel, Evolution Square, where a few people have actually been like, you two need to collaborate. Um, I don't think I'm quite that important yet, but uh, it was a big deal 
to me to find Evolution Square because she pretty much brought my love for Evolution back because, you know, I played it off the channel for so long and videos just weren't doing all that good. But I watched a lot of her videos and how she did part creations and I started following those steps, even just playing myself uh, without videos or recording them. And I just had a whole new love for Jurassic World Evolution all over again. Uh, and then Jurassic World Evolution 2 came out. And that love followed. You know, I really wanted to do a Jurassic World Evolution Let's Play on the channel when the game first dropped. I dropped a trailer for it and everything. And that really didn't do all that well. And it kind of made me realize that for smaller channels more people were interested in videos discussing Jurassic World Evolution 2 rather than watching the game itself, which is a bit odd, but it is what it is. You do have bigger channels that cover Jurassic World Evolution 2 gameplay, such as Evolution Square and Best in Slot. Gaming Beaver, really not all that much unless it's uh, involving a Battle Royale, which is awesome, uh, to be fair. That's what does good for him. I am so sorry if this is all you hear in the background or these two dumbass cats. I love them to death. I really do. But they never do anything unless I'm recording. And now it's getting extremely hot. Oh, no. Burden Gamers taking jackets off. Okay. Um, but, yeah, they only do anything ever until I start sitting down here to record. I don't, don't understand why. I don't understand, you know, I'm in here watching TV or I'm playing the Xbox or something. Nothing. No sound out of them. They're laying in their little bed down here. Not a peep. But the second I start recording, all of a sudden, duh, 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 like, uh, this is time when I need my old editing software. Like, it, hey, Zelda, stop being you. She don't care. She literally looked at me with wide eyes, ears back, like, what are you going to do about it? I wish I had my old editing software, but uh, good old Adobe Elements Premiere crapped out on me, and now all I have is, well, Windows Movie Maker, and that is... Okay, so, yeah, we're trying to work on fixing that issue, and then the whole Windows 10 issue, but that that's me trailing off with the ADHD again. Anyway, this is pretty much just me wanting to, you know, like, we're almost a year back, I'd say a year in April when Jurassic World Dominion stuff started dropping um, on Easter. We started dropping some big videos, and the toy hunts really <laughs> took took me by storm. I wish you could see this. I don't know if you guys can or not. The cat tree right behind me. I don't want to show you the living room. It's, a, it's atrocious right now. But uh, the, the world, or my channel, was taken by storm with uh, toy hunts. And that's not something I planned on doing. I, it, for a lot of you who know me, I did not plan on doing toy hunts to great, gain my channel fame. I wanted to do just dinosaur content. Now, given the hunting for dinosaur toys does count as dinosaur content. Uh, it's just not what a 27 and 28 year old guy planned on doing. Uh, but our biggest video is got, has a little over 110,000 views, which for me, that's amazing that's fantastic uh i've yet to have another video surpass that i've debated doing like a mega compilation of the toy hunts of 2022 just because you know that's kind of like it's what got us this far it's what brought my channel to what it is now and it would not have been possible without you guys and it would not have been possible without the gaming beaver best in slot and evolution square for that pushing that drive to get to those that level of popularity um it's not i don't want it for the fame i don't want it for the money it's i just want it to know that i pushed myself to get that far um if for somehow this video gets into their you know their eyes into their you know headlights uh, I would absolutely love to do an interview with either one of them just to find out where their love for it began. I have actually reached out to all three of them and have failed miserably <laughs> at doing so because contacting bigger people is difficult because, you know, they private themselves. Rightfully so. You know, that's not me being like, unprivate yourself. 
not at all. It is, I would probably, in fact, I would do the same thing. You know, it's, I don't want to be contacted. God knows how many times they receive messages a day, you know, wanting things, wanting to just talk to them, you know, like that to though to a lot of people, they're celebrities and that's awesome. And, but at the same time, they are a hundred percent entitled to their privacy. So if they don't want to be messaged by people, they don't have to be messaged by people. <laughs> But uh, to be able to work alongside one of them, two of them, all three of them, that would be, that would end my career happily. <laughs> uh, I would just, I just would love to be able to work alongside pretty much my heroes on YouTube. Uh, I'm not trying to say like my hero in general is a YouTuber. Like I'm sure some of you do have a hero that's a YouTuber. Uh, when it comes to, my my love for editing and my love for dinosaurs and all that those three are indeed my heroes uh, evolution square more new to that but nonetheless it's just awesome to have people that you can look up to to strive to be better and that's what i hope to be able to do for a lot of other people when i first started doing youtube i had a lot of people that were on there going thank you so much because I enjoy watching your videos. You know, I had a really bad day at school today and that made your video, when I saw you upload it, it made me incredibly happy and I got super excited. That's the kind of stuff that I want. I get comments all the time and compliments, you know, oh, your park builds look good or, well, I get that from Evolution Square or Caesar Creates. He's another YouTuber that I would love to collaborate with. Um, Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. My eye is like bothering me all of a sudden. There's like something in my eye. Uh, okay. Anyway, um, I just, at this point, I wanted to just, you know, with, with it being almost a year since we really took off, uh, I just wanted to do a, a thank you kind of a thing for the three people that got me to where I feel got me where I am. Uh, if it weren't for James the Gaming Beaver, if it weren't for Best in Slot, and if it weren't for Evolution Square, I don't know what I would have done. Um, I tried Pokemon content for the longest time, and I may still try Pokemon content on this channel um, eventually, but it's just like these days, you there's a lot of Pokemon YouTubers that I find and I fall in love with, and then they just do something incredibly disappointing, and I just feel the need to back off. Um, and, you know, I feel bad because there's one other YouTuber in the dinosaur community that I have not mentioned, and that's Swerve. Swerve was and still is an amazing YouTuber. Um, he was he would show up on a lot of my videos and talk. So I guess this is a video to Swerve as well. But he would get on a lot of my videos um, when I was doing live streams. When I first started live streaming Jurassic World Evolution, like the day it got released or the night it got released... He was quickly one of the first people to show up on the live stream and just talk. And I I loved that. He wasn't as big as he is now, um, but he his channel grew exponentially since then. And uh, he was still a pretty damn big channel. Don't get me wrong. He was a big channel, much larger than mine. But he was still... Um, he, was, he was still humble enough to come to a smaller channel and interact with me and interact with my fans and that was awesome that was all i could have asked for and it was cool to have that now there's times i i try to re, re reach out to him and reconnect with them a little bit and be like hey i'm back you know i don't know if you remember me and but i know he's got so many comments in his section these days that uh he definitely he's definitely not seeing it and that's that's fine i i totally understand um there's quite a few people on my old channel that i had show up on every video i ever had uh most most remembering wise was a guy named Corey Mooney or a, a girl. I don't know. Um, never actually got to meet them or talk to them much. Uh, but they filled my comment section and I talk about this person a lot and I do miss this person. I really do consider this like an internet friend of mine that I haven't seen or heard from, uh, in years. And I hate that because the Corey would get on my YouTube channel and just make me laugh every video. And then there would be times where I could see a comment from them and it not seem as like loud and boisterous as it usually was. And then I'd comment and be like, hey, you feeling all right? And he'd be like, yeah, things are a little down, but I'll get, I'll, I'll get better. And 
it was that that way you know that when someone's comments are changing ever so slightly that you feel like okay something wrong is everything okay and you you feel you kind of form that little bit of a bond with them and that was really cool um but those are the things that i remember when i first started my channel and why i continue with what i do and that's what i i look back on when i have moments where i'm like do i want to keep doing this like i'm only just now at um almost 2600 subscribers and i'm like do i want to keep doing this i'm not making much money from this i when i first started i was making four or five hundred dollars a month which for me just as a small content creator that was awesome that was exceptional and i was very happy with that and then of course after dominion dropped and then uh that content started to dip downhill and that's when that revenue started to drop i'm lucky to make a hundred every couple months and uh that's why I'm always constantly coming up with, hey guys, what content do you want to see? And the thing is, is I've got 2,600 subscribers, but I only get like one or two people ever telling me. And then I get a lot of people like, we'll keep uploading Jurassic World uh, Evolution. And I do that and I, I enjoy doing that, hence why I'm doing the Operation Genesis series. Um, and it's just kind of like, you know, I'm just, I'm in that rut. I mean, I guess I've got writer's block where I'm like, I don't know what to do. Like, I don't know what content, like I'm still doing toy hunts. I'm still happy to go do those um, unboxings and stuff. I haven't really done in a long time because, you know, things, Haley and I have a house that we're renting now and things are just a little more difficult. I mean, gas is like, I, Lord, I was driving home from uh, going out to get coffee a little bit ago and gas was 373 at the local gas station right by my house. And that was, it was just 329 yesterday like we're jumping up and then you know it's it's ridiculous so things are just a little more different than what they used to be so it's kind of like i have to adapt uh, but i'm i'm trailing off here as i usually do uh i just i you know at the end of the day i have those four youtubers to thank it's all up to it's all because of them and i feel bad that i just now included swerve in this because honestly he's one of the one of the people that got me where i am today as well uh and now i've started to make new friends like i've met pro c i haven't met him in person but uh he's he's uh collaborating a little bit with me on some youtube videos which is really cool i'm very happy with that and um or on a YouTube video, and uh, hopefully uh, if he would like to work with me further past that point. And he just started off commenting on my Toy Hunt videos. And uh, that's all, that's where it starts. You guys can form friendships based on what you do, and that's that's cool. And that's why I love the dinosaur community, because or the Jurassic World and Jurassic Park community, because you get to meet all these cool people. Um, there are still quite a few of the toy collectors that I would love to get in contact with and just be able to talk to them and find out you know find out where they began how they got where they're at and you know what advice could they give me you know like collect jurassic or um jurassic collectibles or uh, you know it's just it would be great to be able to speak with them and talk to them and find out you know like what do i do <laughs> how help me so that i can help you guys no um but this video is near and almost 20 minutes long so i'm gonna go ahead and probably cut the video here but i do want to thank everybody who has gotten me this far to uh where we're at subscriber count wise yeah i have that goal of hitting 3,000 by the end of 2023 and i don't can't we hit it i don't know maybe we can that's 400 subscribers by in what 10 months nine months nine months i think nine months nine and a half eight and a half months whatever uh it's doable we hit well over 500 subscribers in like a month or two so if we could do it then we can definitely hit 400 subscribers in less than a year i think i believe we can so i just it's i just wanted to say thank you to those four individuals and you know those five individuals if you want to throw a pro c in there because he's been awesome but uh yeah thank you to everybody who has gotten me this far and you guys who have subscribed, you guys have gotten me here too. You guys are the reason I'm here. Uh, they're the reasons I started. You guys are the reason I'm still here. So I love every single one of you. You guys are amazing. So thank you all for a year of laughs, a year of 
weirdness and by God, a year of Jurassic World. <laughs> so thank you all. I love you all. Um, if you guys, I'm not going to do the whole, if you liked this video, like and subscribe, hit that bell button. You know, you guys know what to do. Uh, thank you all. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out. Thank you.